vlog fam, <laughs> as my fiance would say. What's going on guys, what's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, as you guys can tell by that title, I'm currently on the way to my friend Darren 3 aka Robert. Uh, we are actually gonna be swapping out our taillights, uh, my GTS style taillights for his OEM LCI ones. Uh, the reason why I'm doing this is because I just wanted to go back to the LCI look. No reason against the GTS taillights, I freaking love them. Uh, personal choice, I just wanted to go back to the LCIs. So I posted on Facebook in the local BMW group chat and asked if anybody wanted to trade and my boy hit me up and he's local and it's my first time meeting him actually but we talk on Instagram all the time. So I'm super excited to meet him and hang out with him today. But as you guys can see, your boy is back. The red interior on camera looks so fire. So fire. The seat emblems, hell yeah. Yeah, we are back vlogging on the G7X, so it's more portable now, super easy than the Sony, which is sitting right here. But yeah, we're on the way there now. Just got off work. A beautiful afternoon in Florida, in Orlando. But you guys have seen me switch out the taillights a couple times when I uh, put these GTS ones in, uh, when I put Danny Shadowline ones in. Uh, so this swap should be easy. I'm gonna estimate maybe like 20, 30 minutes tops. Uh, I'm gonna show him how to do it so he knows for next time. But yeah, we should be in and out. Thought I'd take you guys along for the ride, get some content, you already know. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you'll know that I took a picture with this jet right here, this airplane right there. <laughs> Pulled over on the side of the highway at like seven in the morning just to get a pic with that. Definitely don't recommend doing that for safety purposes, but I've always wanted a picture with that plane, so I finally got it done. Don't recommend anybody doing that. <laughs> If this is your first time watching, my name is Viet. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for clicking on the video. I invite you guys to drop a thumbs up and subscribe for future content. Again, there's nothing wrong with these GTS style taillights. I really do love them, uh, but I just wanted to go back to that OEM look with the LCI taillights, especially seeing my boy Paul and Danny get the Shadowline LCIs. Probably keep my eye out for those. There's a cop coming, so I gotta put the camera down. <laughs> Hello, sir. <laughs> But yeah, I saw my boy Paul and Danny get the Shadowline LCI taillights, and I definitely want to keep my eye out for those. Such a game changer. But for now, OEM LCIs will do the trick. It's just a look that I've been missing, so I'm super excited to get those back in. But again, nothing wrong with the GTS style taillights. Freaking love them. The sequence, they're so badass. But yeah, going back to the OG look. All right, just pulled up to my boy Darren M3's house. Super nice neighborhood in Orlando. Uh, but we are going to do the swap. Uh, I'll probably film a little bit, let him introduce himself if he's cool with it. Uh, but for the most part, we're going to do this uh, pretty quickly. You guys have already seen how to do this on my channel a couple times. I'll link it in the top right hand corner right now. But yeah, this should be an in and out job and then I'll catch up with you guys uh, when Darren comes out. Alright, we are back at home. Sorry I didn't record anything. Me and my boy Robert who is now a good friend of mine. We're just chatting it up, talking about cars, life, kids, house, everything. Everything adulting <laughs> that you could talk about, we did. But super cool guy, make sure you guys give him a follow. I'll leave his Instagram on the screen now, as well as the description below. But as you guys can see, your boy is back to the LCI gang. Get these illuminated for you guys. Yes sir, back to the OEM. It's crazy how like I'm so used to the GTS taillights and how dark they are that given how light these are, I'm actually shocked because I'm so not used to it. Where's my dog? But yeah, it's gonna take some time to get used to again. But man, I'm glad to have LCIs back on the car. I think it looks so much cleaner. Let me know what you guys prefer down in the comments below. But I personally am super happy having LCIs back in the car. Again, nothing against the GTS taillights, but these just look super clean. Back to OEM Plus, let's go. Give you guys another look at these LCIs. Just OEM LCIs, but I'm still getting used to just how bright they are. Freaking love it. They look so clean. Super happy to have them back in. But we are back in the garage right now. Uh, we're gonna be tackling another DIY within this video. Let me show you guys what just came in. As you guys can see, it's just a seat controller uh, for the driver's side. If you guys remember, I thought I was having a driver 
uh, malfunction warning because uh, when we swapped over this red interior in my car, um, we accidentally swapped over my controller with my competition seats and that had the lumbar support right here. So what I went ahead and did was order this off of eBay, super affordable, super cheap. And then all I'm gonna do is swap this over and everything should work. I'm actually gonna be unplugging the battery though, just in case, cause the airbag is right here. But this should be a very easy swap. Theoretically, you're supposed to like unbolt uh, the chair, uh, undo the battery, unplug the seat harness of course, so the airbag doesn't go off, and then take the chair out or put the chair on its side uh, to access this. Uh, but this plastic piece was already kind of hanging off, so I kind of just like yanked it off. So as you guys can see, all it's held in by is one clip right here, uh, which we're going to be replacing. And that's going to go right there. So yeah, I'm just going to undo the battery, take some precautions, and then undo this harness, and then I'll show you guys what we're working with. So yeah, one of the main reasons why I'm doing this is because I've, I've said in a previous video, the lumbar on this chair is actually extended a little too much for my own comfort. Uh, so luckily these seats are super, super comfortable hella comfortable, but I do want to be able to adjust my lumbar when I need to. I wouldn't mind it going back just a hair. So yeah, that's why we're putting this module in today. All right, so I got the control module out, as you guys can see. Definitely not supposed to take it out the way I did. There's like a little like T25 that you're supposed to undo. And then there is also a wire harness that's held in by a clip right here. All you do is pinch the, the two ends, pull the clip out, and then there's uh, the harness is actually connected to the chair via zip tie, so I just snap that. I actually have another one ready to go when we put this back in. But I have not seen that many people do this on YouTube. Yeah, obviously not a lot of people do this mod. But right here, there's a little retaining clip that holds in one side of the controller. So you just want to snap that up right here. And then snaps back down. But yeah, this is going to release this side. And then I've seen on YouTube uh, the way to get this out is, there's a little clip right here. Okay, <laughs> that was a lot quicker than I thought. On YouTube, they made it seem a little harder than it actually was. But basically what I did was I, I pulled on this tab, but then from the bottom side, I was actually pushing the controller in and then like towards me at the same time while pulling this tab back and it snapped freely, super easily. Now I'm gonna complete the steps in reverse order. Uh, put this new module in and make sure it's seated correctly, make sure it's not wiggling around, and then we're gonna put this back in the car. <laughs> Super easy. Usually DIY mods like this don't end up being this easy. A lot of you guys will relate. A lot of the ones that are supposed to be super easy ones, super easy jobs, five minute jobs, end up taking the longest. So yeah, super happy this one is going smooth so far. All right, this has probably been the most successful and, and fastest mod that I've uh, completed probably on this channel. It snapped right in, went directly into place and then don't forget that little tab you want to snap that into place as well and now the controller is seated in properly it's not going anywhere and now your boy has lumbar support so hopefully when I plug this in hopefully the lumbar will go back the car should remember all my seat positions and everything it's just gonna have the lumbar support back so so now we're gonna reinstall this back into the car and just to give you guys a visual this is the clip you want to pinch both sides and pull out you have to use like a small flathead or something like a pry tool right here on this side because there's no room, no leverage. And then just use your finger on one side, pull it out. But yeah, we're going to put this clip back in. And then the harness is actually held in to uh, the seat controller by a zip tie. So you just want to undo that, which I'm going to redo now. And then this little pin, there's actually a hole for it on the seat control module itself. So you just want to snap that back in, put everything back together. <laughs> You're supposed to undo... I think that's like a T20 or something, and that's gonna release everything, but I skipped that part. I think I snapped it off, but I'll try to get it in there so it doesn't move around. But yeah, that's how you're supposed to do that. <laughs> All right, just like that, we got everything plugged back in. Got this, got the plastic covers back on. All we have to do now is plug in the battery again, and then test to see if it works. Fingers crossed, let's go. Let's go. Just tested out the seat. Everything works fine. The seat memory uh, is still good. And then I just tested out the lumbar button and everything is working fine. It's inflating, going up and down and deflating just normal. So we are back. Let's get it. Super happy this DIY went super smooth and went as planned. All right, cheers. 
again, super happy to have the LCIs back. Make sure you guys follow my friend uh, Robert, aka DareM3, on Instagram. I'll leave his Instagram right here. <laughs> Make sure you guys give him a follow. I'll also put his page down below. Super happy to have the LCIs back. The faux LEDs, GTS tail lights look sick on his car. Again, make sure you give him a follow. Make sure you guys show him some love. All right, so that's gonna wrap it up for this week's video. I hope you guys never have to do that. I don't think anybody's ever gonna have to use this DIY uh, to change your seat controller, but hey, if you do, now you kind of know how. You gotta love when a DIY goes your way and is a fast one and super smooth, because then you can get back to the fiance who's always wondering where you're at. Because uh, you tell her a mod's gonna take 10 minutes and it takes 10 hours, so <laughs> it's always a win win uh, in that scenario. But today is actually the day before I'm going in for an alignment tomorrow. Um, I'm hoping to get the steering wheel uh, alignment sorted and situated, but I'll definitely take you guys along for the ride. And then after the alignment, we are dropping the F80 off. We're gonna get the wheel sandblasted and finally clear coated. Uh, I was actually given an option to have the wheels clear coated, like a lighter clear, like a normal clear coat, or a darker one, which would have changed the color to more of a gunmetal. I think I'm opting for the clear one, but I will keep you guys updated in that video. Stay tuned, you're not going to want to miss out. This is all preparation for BMW Invasion. Shout out to my guys. The event is about a month away, probably when this video is out. So I'll see you guys there. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for the next video. Make sure you guys drop a thumbs up and subscribe for future content. And we'll see you on the next one. Peace.